Our recent threat landscape report, which represents the collective intelligence of Fortigard Labs, drawn from our vast array of sensors globally, examines how cyber criminals are building an army of things, resulting in record-setting threats. The telemetry data and research also reveals that the question, what's my biggest threat, remains difficult to pinpoint as threat avenues continue to change. Here are a few highlights that point to some interesting conclusions. In Q4 2016, the industry was reeling from the one-two punch of the Yahoo data breach and dying denial of service attack. Before the quarter was halfway over, the records set by both events were not only broken, but doubled. IoT device compromised by the Mirai botnet initiated multiple record sending denial of service attacks. The release of Mirai's source code increased botnet activity by 25 times within a week. Activity then increased by 125 times by year's end. Mobile malware has become a substantially larger problem than before. Though it accounted for only 1.7% of the total malware volume, one in five organizations report attempted mobile malware attacks. In addition, many of these devices are trusted devices on the corporate networks of the digital economy today. Substantially regional differences were found in mobile malware attacks, with 36% coming from African organizations compared to only 8% in Europe. An exploit indicating attempted brute force attacks on Microsoft remote desktop protocol ranked second in prevalence. It launched RDP requests at a rate of 200 times every 10 seconds, explaining the high volume detected across global enterprises. Ranking third in prevalence is a signature tied to a memory corruption vulnerability in Windows File Manager that allows a remote attacker to execute arbitrary code within vulnerable applications via a JPEG file. Our records show that 36% of organizations detected botnet activity related to ransomware, but we found it particularly widespread in the healthcare industry. This is concerning because when patient data is compromised, the ramifications can be much more severe as it has much greater longevity than other types of data. A full 86% of firms registered attacks attempting to exploit vulnerabilities that were over a decade old. Almost 40% of them saw exploits against CVEs that were even older. We tracked an average of 10.7 unique application exploits per organization. About 9 in 10 firms detected critical or high severity exploits. The correlation between exploit volume and prevalence imply growing attack automation and lowering costs for malware and distribution tools available on the dark web. This matters because the expanding attack surface needs attention. Attention focused on security patches for flaws in older devices and software means less time and attention to focus on the growing attack surface with IoT devices today.